This is a unique moment in modern Kurdish history. Never has the chance of independence seemed so real. For the past 25 years, the Kurdistan region has been a successful self-governing entity. In that time, some states have just fallen apart. Iraq, Syria, Libya, and Yemen. In the process, they have become breeding grounds for terrorists that threaten the entire world. The Kurds are the opposite. They have shown the entire world that they can successfully govern themselves and they threaten no one. For more than two years, the Peshmerga have played a key role in fighting the terrorists that threaten everyone, namely Daesh. There is a new administration in Washington and it has expressed its friendliness and appreciation of the Kurds from the president on down. On the campaign trail, Donald Trump Thank said, you so much, everybody. The Kurdish people, we should be using the Kurdish, we should be arming the Kurdish. They've proven to be the best fighters. They've pr really proven to be the most loyal to us. I will tell you that we should be using and utilizing those people. They have great heart, they're great fighters, and we should be working with them much more so than we're working. Uh, represent. Vice President Michael Pence visited Kurdistan in 2008 as part of a congressional delegation, we, we talked about and he that. met then with this. President Barzani. Eight years later, President Barzani congratulated Donald Trump on his electoral victory, and Trump's Vice President-elect, Michael Pence, called him back to reaffirm the new administration's support for the Kurds and its appreciation of the role of the Peshmerga in fighting Daesh. General Michael Flynn led the Defense Intelligence Agency and was then head of the White House National Security Council until his recent resignation. During the presidential campaign, when Flynn was Donald Trump's most important advisor on national security issues, he told Kurdish media of his respect and admiration for the Kurds. Kurdish forces are some of the bravest, most courageous forces that, that I have uh, um, been, been you know, worked with in uh, many years and I will tell you the leadership they're well led they're well organized they need our support they need the support of the United States right now until now Washington's attitude toward the Kurdistan region has always been constrained by a one Iraq policy the United States subordinates its dealings with Erbil to its dealings with Baghdad although the government in Erbil is more effective and more pro-American than the government in Baghdad Will this change with the new administration? Newt Gingrich is a former congressman and a major figure in the Republican Party. When asked about President Trump's policy toward the Kurds, Gingrich replied. General Mattis has always been very favorable to Peshmerga and to the Kurds, uh, and that he is going to bring that experience into uh, his job as Secretary of Defense, and that that will be a significant part of shaping this. I mean, Again, I think Trump will be very, very much more favorable to America's allies than Obama has been. There was very strong support in the U.S. Congress for the Kurds. Senator Ted Cruz, Trump's biggest challenger during the Republican primaries, told Kurdistan 24. Well, as you know, I've been a long, long-standing supporter of supporting the Kurds, supporting the Peshmerga, who are on the front lines fighting ISIS, fighting. Uh, against the face of evil, uh, and and the Kurds have been longtime loyal allies of America, and I believe America will continue to be loyal allies of the Kurds, and I, I'm hopeful and believe the new administration will carry forward with a much different policy, a policy that stands directly with the Kurds, with the Peshmerga. Congressional career. Senator John McCain, the powerful chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, said. Well, I think the Peshmerga is the most effective fighters, and I believe that they need the arming and training and equipping that they need, and sometimes it may mean direct. I think we need to arm and train and equip the Peshmerga and help the Kurdish government uh, in Erbil, and uh, they're strong and staunch allies. We tried and convicted and like Senator McCain, Representative Trent Franks comes from Arizona and he serves on the House Armed Services Committee. There was one group that stood up to ISIS from the beginning, and that was the Kurds, the Peshmerga. You have to support your friends that were there uh, when the times were most difficult, and uh, the Kurds have proven that commitment. Franks told Kurdistan 24 that he supports Kurdish independence. I personally would support that very strongly.
and I also believe that it would indeed bring stability, more stability to the region. I know there are a lot of uh, ancillary questions. I know it wouldn't be easy, but I think it would be good for not only the, the Kurds, but for the people in that region in general. I believe it would be good for the world. Representative Dana Rohrabacher is a strong supporter of the Kurds. I happen to believe that uh, uh, the Kurdish people deserve their own government. And uh, the, it was criminal the way uh, the, um, the British uh, colonialists and the other uh, European powers in the past cut up the Kurdish population. Uh, that's uh, just because some fat old British colonialist drew the lines this way doesn't mean we have to stick with it forever. So could you please give us... The U.S. military deeply appreciates the Kurds. Major General Joseph Martin told the Pentagon Press Corps. Curtis, the Curtis forces executed their operations uh, before my time began here in Iraq, but they did a magnificent job. The coalition yeah. spokesman in Baghdad, yeah. Colonel John Dorian, described the Peshmerga. Uh, and their role has been absolutely uh, magnificent. They've been very cooperative and, and uh, very forward-leaning and very effective in defeating death. The forces on the ground that are, that Captain are Jeff Davis told oh, Kurdistan 24. The Pesher are fabulous uh, fighters. They do a great job. We have a great relationship with them. A big problem has been the State Department. More than any other U.S. government agency, the State Department has embraced the one Iraq policy. Will that change now that Rex Tillerson is Secretary of State? Tillerson was the president of ExxonMobil in 2011 when it became the first big oil company to sign a deal with the Kurdistan regional government. At the time, Tillerson ignored the State Department's advice, don't sign a separate deal with the KRG. As his Democratic senator complained during his confirmation hearing. So my question is, with that as a history, with uh, the work that you did in the spring of 2011, where you oversaw an ExxonMobil deal with the Kurdish regional government in Iraq after the United States government expressly did not want to see that happen, fearing that a deal would undermine the U.S. policy of one Iraq and lead the country closer to civil war. After the Senate confirmed Tillerson as Secretary of State, Prime Minister Netjavan Barzani congratulated him and said, we warmly await your next visit to Kurdistan. While he was still Trump's closest advisor on foreign policy, General Flynn told Kurdish media how he saw the Middle These East change. The latest of a series of incidents in the past. A new Middle East is struggling to be born, and I do, I do believe that we're going to see the uh, the breakup of what we always knew to be the Middle East, Syria and uh, Iraq, and other parts of the Levant area. You know, without getting into the into how that's going to look in the next few years. But I, I do believe that we're going to see a Kurdistan in the future. In the Washington think tanks, Kurdish independence has become an open topic of discussion, something unthinkable a decade ago. Perhaps with this new U.S. administration, Kurds will achieve their long-cherished goal of independence. Washington has never been so friendly to Kurdish hopes and dreams. Barzani, and I have to say Chancellor Masrur Barzani visited Washington in December and met with members of the incoming administration as well as many congressmen. At the end of that visit, he said that he now believes that the KRG will receive stronger support from the Trump administration. Lori Milroy, Kurdistan 24, Washington, D.C.